Hey, Robert, how you doing? How's it going? Uh, welcome back to Chicago. Um, what, uh, uh, you know, what, what is it like coming back to play for your hometown team? And, and I guess what was sort of the reaction from friends and family back home? Yeah, um, I'm just honestly just grateful and blessed with the opportunity to come back here, um, just be close to home and uh, just, you know, get a chance to prove my, my game and my brand of football. Um, but yeah, the, the family and friends are definitely super hyped uh, that I'm back um, playing for this side of the rivalry, that's for sure. Next question, Adam Hogue. Hey, Robert, um, just wondering how you feel like you fit in with this offense and uh, what type of connection with Luke Getze uh, maybe played a role in this and just a little bit about maybe your relationship with him. Uh, yeah, um, I think it's kind of, you know, comes from the same offensive background, um, just very familiar with that. Um, just an opportunity to just kind of bring some pass catching and some, you know, playmaking ability. Uh, just as they already do. They do have a lot of talent across the board, offensive weapons. So just kind of come into that and just, again, like I said, just playing my brand of football and just uh, hit the ground running as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, just I think I spent most of yesterday talking to uh, Getsy this, uh, yesterday morning and just kind of just reiterating what the plan is with this team. And I like the way it's going and a uh, big fan of the quarterback. So just moving forward in that aspect, I just knew that this was the spot to be at. Next question, Captain Hey, Robert, what, what's it been like being a Green Bay Packer the last couple of weeks uh, with the Rodgers thing going on? It, it seems like it's the hottest story in the NFL. Um, I mean, it's kind of, it, I don't want to say this in a bad way. It was just kind of the norm over the years. <laughs> um, just kind of with moving parts and you never know what's happening um, towards the end of, you know, you know, a lot of players careers on that side. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's some people's business. I mean, he's earned the right to have that attention and that say so with his future. So, um, yeah, it was just kind of uh, I think that all free agency times are stressful uh, when you don't know where you're going or what the future holds, but I think that it's just kind of the same uh, every year. Did you want to know what was going on there before you made a decision about where to go next? Uh, not necessarily. I think uh, just kind of, you know, holding my future in my own hands was like the biggest thing for me this year and just making the right decision, the next move, uh, just very cautiously. And I think, well, now I think, I believe, I know I made the right decision. Next question, Courtney Cronin. Robert, you talked about meeting with Luke Getze and like reiterating the plan for how you're going to fit in this offense. What did he tell you just about fitting you in with Cole Komet and how the two tight end system is going to work here? Yeah, I, just this offense is, you know, it goes through the tight ends and uh, whether it's blocking, passing, whatever it is, um, and just a good pair. Cole's a, you know, a, a great tight end. He's, you know, big, strong, and um, I think that adding that, that can complement me and him. So uh, I'm super pumped. I mean, we didn't really talk about super detail because obviously it's early, but I'm just excited to kind of get in this building and get things rolling and just be a part of uh, a team that's ascending in the right direction. Next question, Colleen Keene. Hey, Robert, what have been your impressions of watching Justin Fields uh, from the other side the last couple of years? Um, I think he's a young, like mentally strong young player. I mean, that's hard to do when you come in the league, when you have a lot of, uh, you know, whether it's positive or negative things being said about you in the media, just kind of keeping your cool and playing your game. Um, he progressed so well throughout the year last year. We got to see that in the, you know, being division opponents. Um, but yeah, just, I mean, he's staying in there, taking hits, getting up, popping up and just, you know, kept coming back for more. So, um, you know, that's what you kind of want in a quarterback and a leader, uh, someone who just doesn't quit and back down, you know, playing through injuries or whatever it may be. So I'm just super excited to uh, be a part of that. Next question, Sean Hammond. Sean. 
All right, we'll come back to it. Next question, Pat Finley. Robert, would you have thought when you were a college quarterback <laughs> that you'd end up playing tight end for the Bears? And, and what has that journey been like in switching positions and getting involved in the NFL? And and also, what growing up, uh, did you have a favorite NFL team? Uh, I'll answer those backwards because I remember them better backwards. Uh, <laughs> definitely, uh, I was. I mean, I was a Bears fan growing up. Big Brian Urlacher fan, like huge. Um, Got his uh, jersey and signature in the basement. Um, but Still? Oh, yeah. And um, I just, you know, the journey of football and, you know, my path, like my my dream has always just been playing the NFL. I had no idea where I was going to be, how I was going to get there or whatever, but I just knew I was going to be in the NFL. And uh, wherever that journey took me or whatever I had to do to get there, you know, changing from quarterback to receiver, now to tight end, um, just playing football uh, is my dream, my life, you know, I love it. it. It does so much for, you know, my friends, family, just giving opportunities across the board just to live a, live a great, uh, great life and a blessed life. So did I think I'd be Tight end for the Bears, no, but did I think I'd play for the Bears? Yeah, absolutely. In my brain, I was playing for the Bears my whole life. So, uh, yeah, I'm just super pumped to be here. Did any of your Packers teammates see your basement? And if so, do you have, did you have any explaining to do? <laughs> no, but, I mean, everyone knows where I'm from and um, uh, the pride I have of uh, my hometown and, you know, where, I, where I've come from and, you know, where I'm from. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm just super blessed and grateful to be here and uh, playing for the home team. Next question, Mark Cody. Hey, Robert, kind of in that same vein, there's a decent amount of like legit Bears fans on this team with you and Sanborn and TJ Edwards and Cole Komet. What's that like? Yeah, um, I think it's just the pride of, you know, the hometown, you know, that grit from Chicago, just, you know, get it how you can get it and just play ball. And um, I think there's a lot of chips on our shoulders, just being, you know, kind of the bears over that long period of time, like it is, it's the, you know, one of the most prized organizations in the NFL. And, uh, you know, when you have a hometown team and you're a fan of them growing up, you take a little bit more pride in that. And, uh, take it more to heart so I think uh just having as many of those guys on the team as possible I think that that's how you uh kind of uh lean back on your foundation and how strong you like believe in this team is there any extra pressure in that no pressure's good pressure's good next question Courtney Cronin Robert, can you walk us through the process of coming back from the ACL tear in 2021? Like what was 2022 like, like getting going and then finishing as their leading tight end in terms of receptions? Yeah, um, it was just kind of for me, it was just get back on the field as quick as possible, just in terms of my mental, because I just wanted to play football. Um, and uh, I came back in 10 months. I don't know, probably got like maybe nine or 10 practices in before I played the first game. You know, didn't miss a game or a practice all year. Um, you know, it, it is different. It's difficult because, you know, you don't play football for a whole year and your body and mind kind of check out of the actual football aspect of things. Uh, like neurologically speaking, um, you know, your body's not used to those movements and playing and straining and stuff like that. Uh, but towards the end of the year, like the last four games after our late bye week, um, I just kind of started feeling like myself again and being able to put like my brand of football out there uh, that I was seeking and um, just kind of ended strong and just gave me, you know, a better feeling about going into the offseason and going into this uh, process. Next question, Sean Hammond. Robert, you kind of touched on it uh, earlier when you were talking about your, your football journey, but, you know, coming from an FCS school and, uh, you know, getting cut that first year and, and, you know, you were just talking about your ACL tear too. Do you, you know, how, how far have you come these last five or six years on this, on this journey? Um, I mean, 
yeah, I mean, it has been quite the journey. It's been, um, you know, not as normal or easy as, you know, certain people. I mean, it's not, not that they didn't deserve that or whatever, but, you know, some people's paths and destinations are just different. And um, uh, just kind of goes to show like my, you know, my personality is just kind of just like, just keep going. I mean, there's going to be ups, downs, but you can just stay even keel, you know, internally and just have a, you know, a, a vision and the goals at the end. And when you see that light at the end of the tunnel, just kind of take advantage of it and uh, just trust the process. And um, yeah, just kind of hone in on your own craft and your own work and worry about yourself. Don't compare and just keep working and, you know, things are going to work out for you.